welcome back to the channel guys I accidentally bought a boat <laughs> on eBay it's a brand new boat it's a inflatable kayak and it's they're normally over a hundred dollars and I got this one for sixty dollars um, free shipping from um, a sporting goods store in Texas that was affected by the flood and the uh, seller claimed to have said that it was one of the inventories he was getting rid of but the insurance was gonna cover everything that was lost but it's some of the stuff he's south. So I got a really good deal on it. Um, I live close to the Hudson River. Um, and further up for me, I probably won't take this in the Hudson River because of, uh, um, it looks calm now, but it's normally a lot of tides um, in and out, up and down that river, as well as um, boat traffic, commercial boat traffic, as well as jet skis and um, uh, leisure boat traffic on that Hudson River. So I'll probably take it in a quiet pond upstate, uh, about maybe 40 minute drive north of where I am in Westchester. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pump this guy up and um, show you guys how it looks when it's um, inflated. All right, guys. So guys, that's the boat. That's what it looks like. Um, it's an Intex inflatable boat. It comes with two sets of paddles as well as the um, pump. I thought it was an electric pump but it's a pump pump and it takes about maybe 10 minutes to inflate the entire thing. Um, it inflates in five sections for the boat and the two seats um, inflate sort of separately. Um, it's a Boston pump, I mean sorry it has Boston valves so every valve, valve is like a one way thing so you just put air in and when it's time to take the air out there's a second kind of secondary cap that you release and it just lets all the air out very fast as well. Um, in fact, putting, taking air out of this thing is harder than putting air in because you have to uh, roll it and it fits into that little stuff sack on the side there. So you have to squeeze all the air out and it takes um, a bit of effort and strength but overall it inflates real easy. Um, I have not taken it out in the river. The river is right over there behind us. Um, but I'm going to do a pond tomorrow. It's Saturday so I'm going to do a Sunday, Sunday thing in the pond with my daughter and my wife. Um, I have to get life, um, life uh, jackets first for us. But... Um, that's kind of how it looks and um, not much to say but I, I bought this completely by accident and it's pretty cool. Uh, I've always wanted one of these things. It's uh, a kayak. Let me show you guys the uh, paddle. So the paddles come apart in a lot of sections. It's, so you can put that in um, in in the stuff sack so it really comes apart guys it's really cool so it comes apart in mini sections and then you put it together like this and it's two sets of these the other set is actually still in the uh, bag I didn't take it out of the bag yet Now the paddles for this is kind of flimsy, but I'll see tomorrow when I take it out in a, in a pond, how it looks, how it works. Um, but it's not too heavy, it's not too firm, and it does have some, some play in it, you probably could see that there. Um, the pump is really lightweight. So as I was saying, the pump is really lightweight, um, there's some info there on the pump. Uh, the brand I didn't even mention, it's an Intex uh, Explorer K2. And I just took the camera off the tripod just to bring it in closer for you guys to see. Um, the seats are inflatable, but I don't think I'm going to use these seats because... Uh, you see right there, it pulls when you sit in this thing. It kind of pulls in this thing, and I'm not sure how durable that is. It looks welted in there as well as stitched in. But I'd rather take uh, Crazy Creek chairs. I don't know if you guys remember those from the 90s and early 2000s. I'm not even sure they still sell or make them. But I have a, a set in the house. Three, actually. I bought three. Years ago, I still have them. So I'll probably um, and put those in there instead of these inflatable things. As well as the back isn't... Um, it's basically just a, a blow-up thing. So, And when I inflated it before, I realized if you inflate the cushions, you sit kind of high up in the bolt. But 
if you don't inflate the cushions you kind of sit low in this thing so it, it makes it a little bit better uh, you have some information here I'll let you guys read it you could also google this stuff and um, has all the uh, safety stuff there are two persons or 330 pounds capacity and that's two adults and you could probably put um, on this two adults and my daughter's two so and she's about 25 pounds or so so I probably put her in the middle there and um, my wife in the front and uh, I'll sit in the back so that's what I mean but these things inflate uh, separate sides inflate I'll show you guys how the Boston valve and this looks you have one here and one on that side so you have a total of two there and the bed also inflates but I think the bed is um, it made it seem in the manual that this was optional to inflate um, these are mandatory because I think this is what keeps the um, kayak afloat and the bed is probably just for comfort now in one of these there is a hole and you gotta remember to when you inflate it to seal that off it has a little cap so you have to remember to do that I forgot um, I would have forgotten but I saw a video on YouTube where the guy reminds you to do that because it was not in the instructions to close that cap at least uh, uh, the part of the instructions that I got up to because if you don't close that cap and you take this out in the water you start sinking really quickly or you realize the the inside is flooding with water so the way the Boston valve valves work it, it's a dual cap thing so you can google this and there's lots of information on this online so you have that cap where you inflate it I don't know if you guys can see with the Sun and you have a secondary cap where as soon as I open that cap it's just gonna you hear that it just deflates right away now the inflation recommendation and it's not really mentioned in other videos is that you definitely do not want to over inflate this on a hot day because hot hot air hot weather kind of um, adds expands the air inside the uh, rubber inside the um, kayak and a cold day you want to over inflate it because cold days or colder weather kind of um, take some of the air out so keep that in mind temperature as well um, affects how you want to inflate this there is a measurement there it comes with a little plastic tape that you could put there oh I got the cam camera the opposite way where well, you could put that there to uh, measure how how much you have um, inflated which is kind of really cool some more writing on the inside but this is it guys this is the K2 Explorer and I'm gonna close that there I'm gonna inflate this in a, in a minute and like I said in deinflating this taking the air out is harder than putting air in because when you take air out you have to roll this up and then get it to fit into this bag there with the paddles and the paddles like I showed you come apart but um, it's a little registration number that's kind of cool or VIN number for the for the boat so that's it guys this is the Intex Explorer K2 so guys that's how it folds up it folds up into that the bag here so it's pretty tiny show you guys how it looks it's super tiny it fits right into the car right in there and that's it guys that's the um, Intex Explorer K2 kayak it fits right into SUV I have a BMW 3 series so it would fit into uh, the trunk of a small sedan um, and you have a big kayak that's the beauty of these inflatables you don't need a roof roof rack or a thing in your trunk to carry a kayak so it's pretty cool you could buy two of these and probably fit two or three or four back here so it's kind of cool